This is a tritium exit sign. It, it contains tubes that have tritium gas in them. And the inner walls of the, of the tubes are coated with a special fluorescent coating. Now the way these work is actually very similar to the way that old CRT tube monitors worked. They work, remember the CRT monitors have an electron gun that shoots electrons at the front of the screen. And the fluorescent coating on the screen emits light when struck by electrons. Well, in the case of these tritium exit signs, the tubes also have a coating that is excited by electrons striking it. Only here, instead of an electron gun and high voltage, the electrons come from radioactive decay of tritium. Tritium is a radioactive isotope of hydrogen. Each tube contains a small amount of tritium gas inside. And the decay, the radioactive decay, emits electrons known as beta particles. When these electrons strike the coating, they, the coating actually glows. I'm going to turn off the room light now. And you will see, hopefully, the glow. It's a green glow. And that is continuously being produced. It's not just like a glow-in-the-dark coating, like you've seen glow-in-the-dark paints that glow after they've been excited with visible or ultraviolet light, and then continue to emit green light after the lights go out, but it gets dimmer over a few minutes or even seconds for most glow-in-the-dark paints. No, this is different. The light is continuously emitted at the same rate. Only, only decreasing very slowly after a long period of time on the order of years because of the half-life of the radioactive tritium inside. Now I'm going to turn on the light again and I'm going to disassemble this sign. See the screws here? I'm going to take these out and in and then open it up and see if I can see the individual tubes. Okay, three screws out. Looks like three more to go. Still, there's something holding it in place. Can't figure out what it is. Is it glued in? As you can see, there's a label here. It has some information. It says radioactive, danger. But, but the thing is, the tubes are not actually dangerous. Beta radiation is actually very non-penetrating. Even a sheet of aluminum foil will stop a beta particle. And uh, these glass tubes are most certainly thick enough to stop a beta particle. Basically no radiation will even escape from these tubes. The warning is like they're just to be like extra secure so if something happens like you can't 
can't sue them because they follow all the regulations by putting the required warning label on their sign. The, so that if you like actually do somehow irradiating yourself, you can't sue the company because the exit sign does bear the proper warning labels. Hmm. No screws there. I was thinking that that might have had some screws under that label there. Not the warning label, but some some other label here. It's not under that. Go take off that yellow warning label now and see if there's anything anything under it. Let's see if there's any screws under it. Because I've moved all the screws that I could see and it and I still can't get it open. I wonder how they assembled this to start with. It's, it's held together pretty well, I'd say. Huh. Caution, radioactive material. Removal of this label is prohibited. But I'm going to remove it anyway because it might hold a screw underneath it. I don't think that there's going to be any one screw that is going to be able to hold in as good as it seems to be held in, but just in case there is, I'm going to check under this li small label here and see if in fact there is another screw. Nope, there is no other screw. Okay, I'm going to have to figure out how to get this thing apart. Is it glued in or what? I don't want to break it because I don't want to smash those tubes, though the gas inside is such a small quantity you probably won't actually get radiation poisoning from it. Still, it wouldn't be a good idea to break them, probably. What was that? I hope that's just the cover cracking or the glue starting to, starting to separate. I think these are glued in or something. I mean, I think the cover's glued on. Because removing all the screws didn't really help get this thing open. Even though I have removed what looks like all the screws. apart anytime soon. Once I get it apart, maybe I'll make another video or take some pictures or something and post that on the net. But I'm not going to be able to get it apart anytime soon now. So I think this will be the end of this video.